Immunohistochemistry, or IHC, offers spatial visualization and location of an antigen in tissue sections. This application can be challenging, with problems generally falling into two categories, weak or no stain, and high background. Here are some troubleshooting tips to address weak or no stain for each of the five steps for successful IHC. When preparing the tissue slides, always use freshly cut tissue slides, store at 4 degrees Celsius, and avoid freeze-thaw cycles to preserve tissue for staining. Increase the deparaffinization time to ensure all paraffin is removed and always use fresh xylene. Use an appropriate antigen unmasking method, preferably via microwave. Increase antibody penetration of the tissue by using unmasking agents such as trypsin, pepsin, chymotrypsin, and proteinase. When blocking background, be sure that you use freshly prepared blocking solution and do not overblock by incubating too long or with too high a concentration of protein. For the target detection step, make sure the antibodies are suitable for the type of IHC to be performed, whether fresh frozen or formalin fixed paraffin embedded, and follow the dilution recommendations. Confirm compatibility of primary and secondary antibodies. Amplify the signal if using a biotin conjugated secondary antibody and a conjugated streptavidin. Troubleshoot concentration changes and check signal strength. Do not use buffers with sodium azide in the presence of HRP. And be aware that DI water can contain peroxidase, which inhibits enzyme activity. For the visualization step, be sure to activate the light source and adjust the light or laser path. Adjust the focus and also be sure to adjust filters specific for the antibody label or system you have used. Immunohistochemistry can be a challenging application. These troubleshooting tips can help you achieve the publication quality images you deserve. Find recommended products and protocols at thermofisher.com slash IHC5steps.